I just received this fragrance in the mail today. This was one that I had ordered a couple of weeks ago from, I believe, perfumesonline.ca. And I wanted to review it for you because it's actually very similar to one that I had in my collection before that I had shown you that I had um, a decant and then I later got a travel size of. So this fragrance is Club de Nuit Entente by Armoth. This retails for really inexpensive. I think I paid literally about $35 or $39 for this and this is a 100 ml bottle. Um, so it comes in kind of this interesting black bottle with the gold lid and it's got the little gold charm on it as well. This is our moth and then it's got some little kind of faux crystals. This is marketed as being a rosy, fresh, spicy, warm, spicy kind of a floral scent. In the top notes you have geranium, saffron, and rose. In the heart you have pepper, violet, nutmeg, and caraway. And then in the base you have patchouli, vanilla, amber, and oud. Many people have compared this to Noir de Noir by Tom Ford, and to be honest guys, this is almost a 100% dupe for Noir de Noir. So if you have smelled that one, or you've been on the fence and you've been wanting to purchase it and you really like it, but you don't want to dish out $250 for a bottle, honestly, you are completely safe, and I mean that, you are totally safe to just get this one and forget about Noir de Noir. That was the one that I had had in my collection which I since gave away to my boyfriend solely for the reason that he loved it and I wasn't sure if it was something I was going to wear a lot of because I felt like it might be a little bit too deep for me and this one is no different. It's a deep, dark, warm, spicy evening kind of a scent. This is not the type of fragrance I think I would wear all the time. It definitely has to be the right occasion. So the main notes that I get in this fragrance are vanilla, patchouli, oud, and rose, basically. So if you like oud and you like woody scents and you like vanilla, this is one that you would definitely like. However, this isn't super oudy the way Alien Oud Majesto or Shock Off Oud by Swiss Arabian or like Oud Wood would be. Um, it definitely still does have that super woody, oody vibe though. Um, when you first spray this, you can tell that it has kind of a high alcohol content. I, this one, I mean, obviously it's a little bit less expensive, so it might not be as high quality, probably less of the oils, more of the other ingredients that they put into perfumes. Um, but as far as the scent goes itself, it is, I'm not kidding, like 99% similar. The magic for this is in the dry down. If you let it settle on your skin for about 45 minutes to an hour and then go back and smell your skin, you will get this absolutely gorgeous, soft, vanilla, oody, deep kind of a scent. And it's quite intoxicating and yeah, it's really nice. Not the type of perfume I would wear for every occasion. I wouldn't wear this for like a dinner out with my boyfriend. I wouldn't wear this for a fancy occasion. I really would have to be in the right mood to wear this out. This is also a lot softer than Tom Ford's Noir de Noir. I would say that between the two, the Noir de Noir probably has better sillage and better longevity. This one definitely does become quite soft. I think if you wanted really good projection, you'd have to spray it on your clothing and your skin to get an optimal effect. I did just try it on my skin and it is quite light. It's quite faint at this point and I sprayed it about two hours ago. So that being said, I did notice the Noir de Noir was also quite light compared to some of Tom Ford's other fragrances like Vinnie Fatale and Tobacco Vinnie and things like that. So I really can't say anything bad about this fragrance. I honestly think that for what it is, this is incredible and had I known that it was so similar to Tom Ford's, I would never have bought the Tom Ford, I just would have bought this. Definitely check this out. I will link it down below for you where I got this. If you're interested in an oody, rosy vanilla scent, this is beautiful. You can't go wrong. I do have to say that I prefer this to Shoggoth Oud, which I did end up gifting because the Oud in it was just simply too strong for me. So for me, this is definitely a more wearable Oud scent. So this fragrance is also marketed as being a woman's fragrance, but I think it definitely leans toward unisex because the Tom Ford Noir de Noir is marketed toward men and they pretty much smell exactly the same. So I would say both men and women can get away with this. I would love to smell this on my boyfriend. I think he would smell great, um, but it's something I would definitely also wear myself. So that's it for the Club de Nuit Entente by Armoff review. I hope that you guys enjoyed. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, make sure that you do because I will be having a lot more perfume reviews videos in the future and let me know if there's anything that you would like to see. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.